Hello everybody, this is my full guide on how to prevent crashing for Clear Obscure Exhibition 33 on Steam and Xbox Pass. I try not to skip any steps. The first thing you want to do is download this file. I'll put it in a pinned comment below, but it's going to look something like this. And you want to move it into your game directory. So once you come to here, you want to download this file. And once you have downloaded it, it's gonna look something like this. Um, and you want to right click on this uh, exit folder here. You want to uh, click br uh, extract here and it's gonna look something like this. It's an engine.ini file. It's for configuration settings for uh, Unreal Engine, which this game is running on. Okay. Now, after you have downloaded this file and you've extracted it, make sure you extract it or else it will not work. Go to the search bar, type in run. And when this run comes up, you want to type in a uh, percentage mark, local app data percentage mark, backdash sandfall, backdash saved, backdash config, backdash win GDK. By the way, this is only for Xbox Game Pass. If you are on uh, Steam, then this will probably be uh, win 64 or win 32. But you can just delete this part and go to config and then click on the folder from there click ok this will bring you to this folder what you want to do uh, you might not see the engine.ini file in your game depending on whether or not you have messed with uh, the settings within the game but you want to take the extracted file and you want to move it over you want to replace the file in the destination and voila, it's here, but you are not finished yet. You want to right click on the engine.ini file, click on properties and make sure that this file is read only. If it is not read only, you want to uh, set it to read only, hit apply and hit OK. And this uh, should fix a lot of errors uh, for this, a lot of crashing for this game. Now let's go for some specific uh, crashes uh, for Steam and Xbox. For Steam, the first uh, thing you want to do, and this sounds counterintuitive, but you want to right click on the game, go to properties, uh, go to general, and you want to enable Steam overlay. Yes, I do not know why enabling Steam overlay is a good idea, but it seems to stop this game from crashing on startup. So enable Steam overlay, and then once you have done that, verify integrity of game files and uh this is reported by a lot of users on reddit uh, a patch from sandfall apparently addresses this but this is still uh working the next thing you want to do is uh if it still is crashing on startup from launch options uh, type in directx uh, dx11 this will force the game to run in DirectX 11. Uh, DirectX 11 runs a lot smoother with a UE5, which this game is running. DirectX 12 uh, tends to crash in a lot of cutscenes. So make sure that you are running in DirectX 11. Okay, after you have done that and it still is crashing for whatever reason, you want to turn off Windows Defender. So type in Windows uh, Security press enter and then here you're gonna see virus and threat protection you want to go under virus and threat protection settings click on manage settings turn off real-time protection and uh, after you have done that go back to this screen go to firewall and network protection go to public network which is active right now and turn off the microsoft defender firewall I do not recommend you keep this off all the time, but uh, if it does work, I recommend that you allow uh, the app through the firewall. I'm not going to explain how to do that, but it's not very hard. The next thing you want to do, of course, is to make sure your graphics drivers are all up to date. If you have an NVIDIA driver uh, GPU, download the NVIDIA app and get the uh, AMD app as well. And you also want to make sure that your Windows is up to date. Uh, you need to be on a version nine, uh, 1909 or higher of Windows, uh, believe it or not. So go to settings, go to Windows update and check for updates here. Um, okay, I need to update by the way, you can see that here. Okay, next, last but not least, uh, you want to uh, run the game in uh, 
So let me find, sorry, uh, to get to the game. In Steam, you want to go to Properties, Installed Files, uh, Browse. But it, I have it installed on Game Pass, so you uh, find it in your library. Right click on it, go to Manage, go to Files, go to Browse here. You're gonna see a clear obscure uh, content. Uh, Sandfall Binaries WinGDK. And uh, you're gonna see uh, the shipping.exe application. Uh, you want to find this. By the way, again, if you're on Steam, this is gonna be Binaries Win64, uh, Win32. Find uh, this app, uh, this application, uh, right click on it, go to properties. From here, you're gonna see a compatibility tab. Click on this. And two things you want to click on, uh, disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. You want to hit both of them and hit apply and hit okay and run the game as normal and your game should run smooth like. And next thing we want to try is to uh, verify a couple of files within Windows. So go to type in CMD for command prompt here. Click run as administrator. When this black cool little box comes up, type in SFC space slash scan now, all one word. What this will do, this will scan your entire file system, including uh, DirectX, including everything like that for any kind of corrupt files, and it will automatically replace them. This takes a couple of minutes to do, and after it is done, uh, reboot your PC and launch the game once again. But this will almost certainly fix any issues that you have. If this video helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day.